Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Help. Guys, I'm back with the another video tutorial on the Jasper report. So guys, in this tutorial, we will see how to use the table and populate the table with the XML data. So guys, let's get started. Go to the file menu, click on the new option and choose new Jasper report. So here on the report template, select A4 size. Now here you have to give the file name. Okay, I'm choosing a file name for my report. So my report is table report. Okay, now click on the next. Now here on the, this page, we have to create one data source. So go to this new button, click on it, and this will open this small pop-up window. Here we have to select the XML document. Okay, now click on the next and we are on this data adapter window so here we have to give the name for the data adapter so give any useful name my first data adapter okay now come to the second here on the file click on this and this will open a browse window for selection of the XML file. So we have to find out, okay, I got it. So this is the place. Here's our data source XML file. Now click open. So it is set. Now in the next step, you have to select the first radio button. Use the report XPath expression. And now click on the finish. Okay, wait for one or two seconds. And you will see this window on the left hand side you will see the structure of your XML file that you have selected okay so right here we have a catalog and then the CD and we have the following properties of the CD so right here on the right hand side you have to place one star because we selecting the root node okay now click next you will see this message congratulations now click on the finish okay so it will take two three seconds to set up the report on the back side you can see the a4 size space is set up and we have some bands so i'm going to delete some bands that are not useful that are not in use in this example so we will place the table in the detail band so i am uh, increasing the length of the detail band and now go to the palette And here we have to search for the table okay here it is now just drag it and drop it inside this table back in detail band once you drop you will see this wizard so here you have to create the new data set click next okay guys now here you have to give the name of your data set so I am giving the name data set underscore table okay now click next and you will see the again the data source page now click on this drop down and create the data source that we have created in previous step now here on the right hand side you have to type the root node catalog forward slash CD because we are selecting the child node which is CD and click next you will see the data set field that going to be present on the report inside the table so all this field will be included click on this double arrow button and it's done here now click on the next okay on this page leave as it is click next now here on this connection page we have to select this radio button the data source expression this place you have to paste this string this is the data source connection string and the same string I have given the description so you guys can copy from that place and we're done with this window and now click on the next and again we getting the data set fields the selected data set fields so we have to include this on the right hand side box click on this double arrow button it is added and now click next 
and you are on this the table properties so we can adjust the layout of the table background color and you can choose the color scheme from this drop down i'm choosing this purple color theme for the table and also we have these many options here like cell color we can adjust the table header color so we have an option to choose the color okay so you can try it your own and we have other options as well in the second point here we can select this checkbox so your report will get the alternate color in the table okay and some more information you can change the border color as well from this place and we have this options checked because all these options are included suppose you uncheck any one of them so the corresponding thing will not be available in your table so like if you uncheck so table header will be removed table column header will be removed and the other things will be removed if you uncheck this okay now click finish and you will see the table is present on your report under the detail section okay guys now the report size is little bit small so we can customize it at as per our requirement so i'm trying to expand the size of this table so do like this and double click on this table so you will get the table structure here you can increase the column width like this this can be easily adjusted with the help of mouse just click on the column line and just drag and stretch it as per your requirement so okay guys uh, now save the report and again go to the main report and here we will see the preview in the bottom you can see these three tabs so you have to press on the preview once you click on it you will see the preview of your report wow we're getting the data present inside the table and uh, it is properly filled i would like to show you the xml data okay i'm opening the chrome browser and i will drop the xml file here for the better understanding of the notes because xml structure is proper properly displaying here in the chrome browser let me resize it for the comparison that the data is coming from the xml and the, there is no issue you can observe the first title in the first row inside the table and the artist company price and year all are perfectly placed inside the table okay just scroll down now check the last record uh, okay it's completely okay now Okay, now minimize it and we have some uh, I will show you do some adjustment to display the text center line inside the cell so we need to do some adjustment like this for displaying the lengthy data inside the cell so we have to stretch the width of the cell now select all the fields like this and we have to look for the vertical alignment and horizontal alignment properties so on the right hand side you can see we have to search for it and here in the drop down we have to find out the horizontal alignment so okay we got it 
here it is horizontal alignment selected and the relevant properties available now we have to click on this option so you can see uh, the text is aligned in the center of the cell now we will check the preview of this report again go to the main report now click on this preview tab and here's the table okay so the text is aligned properly in the center of the cell but we need to do one more adjustment for vertically align so go to again the table and select the fields and right here we have to look for the vertical alignment settings so here it is once you select it you will get these settings boxes here and we have to click on this second one so you can see the text is properly center aligned inside the table cell okay now we again go to the main report and we will look for the preview one more time okay guys this is the report this is perfectly center aligned okay guys this was the table this was the Jasper report and we have used the table object and filled the table with the XML data. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe my channel and keep watching Cool IT Help for latest video tutorial. Thanks for watching.